Mad Cowboys are a punk rock band from Calgary, Alberta. We first noticed them when guitarist and vocalist Mike McLeod started playing bass in Chicks Ticket on a few of the last Chicks Ticket tours, but Mad Cowboys sound more like a sort of super stripped down Dillinger 4 kind of pop punk than the Ramonesy sort of pop punk of Chicks Ticket. They just put out an amazing new self titled full length on the new Black, produced by Ian Blurton, and it is awesome. Plus, we accidentally made them wake up really early in North Bay and drive to Toronto for this interview without realizing it. For that, we apologize. I really, I, I, I ruined your morning maybe this morning by making you guys get up and come to Toronto like a day early or something. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say ruined or anything, you know. I, I, I always thought it was today at three, so. Okay, good, yeah. I, I, I assumed it was that. So you didn't miss anything too exciting in uh, North Bay to be well, here? We ended up like staying, smoking hash and like drinking booze until five o'clock in the morning last night, so it was a bit of an abrupt wake up, we'll say that. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. We sleep in the van, we got a big old camper van, we can all lie down. Oh, right? awesome. I loved your face when I woke you up. Mike, we gotta leave now. Yeah. <laughs> now you're all uh, just groggy. <laughs> That's this a look of death. Yeah. <laughs> this is really the modus operandi of Exclaim TV, is to just ruin nights of drinking beer and smoking hash. <laughs> just fucking harsh pull back into reality. <laughs> One of the things that, that I respect the most about you guys is just, it seems like you are constantly, constantly touring. How many days a year, like in the last, like on average, have you guys spent on the road it's for the last while? It's We only tour like two to three months a year right yeah. now. And it's all just like we it's like it smoke and mirrors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still think even that is like more than the vast majority of bands, at least in Canada mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, like people just don't really tour. Maybe like most bands do one tour a year. So the fact that we do two or three or whatever maybe stands out. As, it's outstanding. It's mad touring or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Really fucking fun to us. You know? Yeah. <laughs> There's kind of that like soul crushing journey across large parts of this country yeah, yeah. that are like... Yeah, like the last week we just had it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm specifically talking about the last week of your lives. What for you guys is the absolute fucking worst part of driving across this country? Uh, between Calgary and Toronto. Yeah, that's, a large, <laughs> that's a large space, dude. I mean, it's the worst when you get past, like, the, I mean, Thunder Bay is just bullshit every time. And then, you, you know, that all the way to Sudbury or North Bay or whatever is horrible drives, you know single lane traffic like pretty much only semis on those roads you know it's like 16 hours between thunder bay and sudbury Especially or whatever it sucks in the winter yeah, nowhere to play shows and if there are shows there you know, nobody in thunder bay ever cares about any band i've ever heard that's ever gone through there so. we have a huge viewership in thunder bay and this is going to just piss people <laughs> off man kids are going to freak like you're going to start getting hate mail like crazy well, at least they'll be mailing us yeah. <laughs> right now they don't give a fuck what's like the one city or the one like even like moment of driving the one part of the fucking trans canada highway where it's like all right it's worth it i'm glad we drove from calgary to toronto and played in Thunder Bay. Yeah. I'd say once you get into Toronto, you know, start seeing the uh, pretty ladies on the street, you know, and it helps to brighten everybody's day. <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seeing a real city again, and it's like... And the pretty ladies in the, the real city. Ladies, yeah, yeah. They, they aren't. <laughs> Yeah. They aren't like the ladies in uh, Sault Ste. Marie and <laughs> Thunder Bay. I'm sure there's like a couple of pretty ladies in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. <laughs> Again, pissing off our huge viewership in the Sioux. Prove us wrong. <laughs>